Welcome to another deep dive. Um, today we're going into the world of AI generated music oh, oh, with a twist. Yeah, this is a very interesting one. So we're going to be looking at Hutsese or Whispers in the Fog. Whispers in the Fog, and it's a fictional concept album, right? That's been dreamed up by this AI named Sada. And it's not just the music that's AI generated. The whole project is framed as Sada's creation. Oh, wow. He's envisioned as a Moroccan composer singer living in Shanghai. Okay. Complete with diary entries written in Darija. Oh, wow. Which is the Moroccan dialect of Arabic. Okay. So, like, we're diving into this whole world. Exactly. Where an AI is, like, exploring themes and of cultural identity. Cultural identity. Longing for home. Yeah. Through music and these narratives. Yes. And the music itself is incredible. It's this fusion of traditional Moroccan genres like Nawa and Chabi with more modern influences like Moroccan trap. I'm really excited to dig into this. So the website even includes quotes from Sitting Bull. Yes. Oh. Very interesting choice. An interesting choice. Hmm. So um, what do we actually know about Sada? So we're told that she's a multi-instrumentalist composer and singer. Okay. Grew up in Casablanca, Morocco, but now lives in Shanghai. Okay. And it's that juxtaposition bustling modern Shanghai yeah. versus the warmth and community of Casablanca that forms the emotional core of the album. I can already see how that's going to play out in the music. And right from that first track, Un Owe. Our roots run deep. You can feel that tension. The lyrics are a powerful declaration of Moroccan cultural pride. Absolutely. It's talking about the land history, this unbreakable bond to their roots. It's like the AI is using Sada's voice to express this really deep connection to her heritage. Yeah. Even as she's navigating a totally different cultural landscape in Shanghai. Yeah. And musically, it's fascinating how it blends those traditional Moroccan sounds with the modern trap element. Creating this unique sonic tapestry. Yes, reflecting that cultural fusion. There's this one line that really got me. Moroccan are the roots planting hope in the earth. Such a powerful image. Yes. And it makes me wonder if the AI is trying to capture this sense of resilience mm -hmm. and cultural continuity amidst the challenges of, you know, globalization and displacement. Yeah, that's a great point because it's like the AI is suggesting that cultural identity is not static. Right. It can adapt and evolve while still remaining deeply connected to its origins. And that idea of navigating multiple worlds is even more evident in the second track, Oh Yo, <laughs> Amazai Spirit of Nawa, which might not mean a lot to our listeners, so let's break that down a bit. So the Berbers are the indigenous people of North Africa, okay. and they have their own distinct culture and language. Okay. Nawa music, on the other hand, has roots in sub-Saharan Africa, and it's known for its spiritual and ritualistic elements. Okay. It often features trance-inducing rhythms and the call-and-response singing. So by combining these two traditions, mm -hmm. it's like the AI is highlighting the diversity within Moroccan culture itself. Exactly. It's not a monolithic entity. Right. It's a tapestry woven from various threads. Yeah. And Sada's music reflects that complexity. And the AI doesn't shy away from exploring the challenges of maintaining that cultural identity no, that's while not. living in a foreign land. Especially in those early diary entries. Right. She talks about feeling lost in Shanghai's vastness. Yeah. How the people seem cold compared to the warmth and vibrancy of Casablanca. There's this one line I love. The city is so big, the people walk so fast, and there's no scent of the sea like I'm used to in Casablanca. Oh, yeah. And it's such a simple observation, but it just speaks volumes. Absolutely. About how she's feeling this loss of her familiar surroundings. And that's where it gets really interesting. Yeah. Because it's one thing for an AI to generate music that sounds Moroccan. Right. But it's another thing altogether to create a narrative that captures these nuances of cultural displacement mm -hmm. and the emotional toll it takes on an individual. It makes you wonder if the AI is truly grasping this concept of homesickness mm -hmm. or if it's simply mimicking these patterns it's observed in human writing. Yeah. About these very human experiences. It really raises the question, can an AI truly understand the complexities of human emotion? Or is it simply reflecting back to us what we've already programmed it to know? Yeah, that's a deep dive for another day. Exactly. But for now, let's move on to the third track, Terres Anciennes. Ancient Lands. And this is where the AI throws us another curveball. 
and it sung in French. Sung in French. Which, as you mentioned earlier, is widely spoken in Morocco due to its colonial history. Right. It adds another layer to Sada's identity yeah. as someone navigating multiple cultural and linguistic influences. And the lyrics themselves are all about Morocco's landscapes. The mountains, rivers, deserts. It's like yeah. the AI is using nature as a metaphor for the enduring spirit of Morocco mm -hmm. and its people. There's this one beautiful line in the heart of the dunes, our souls find peace under the starry sky, our dreams take flight. Wow. It makes me yeah. wonder, is the AI drawing on actual geographical data about Morocco to craft these lyrics? Or is it drawing from this more generalized understanding yeah. of how humans connect to landscapes? It's a really good question. And even though the song is in French, it still connects back to those themes of longing and homesickness that we saw in the first two tracks. Yeah. And in Sada's diary entries. It's like she's finding solace in these landscapes of her homeland, even though she's physically far away. Exactly. And it speaks to the power of music yeah. to transcend language barriers yes. and evoke these universal emotions. So we've got three tracks in, and the AI is already weaving together these multiple threads. Absolutely. Music language, cultural imagery, and emotional narrative. It's creating this complex and nuanced portrait of what it means to be Moroccan, both at home and abroad. And this is just act, I like, we still have five more acts to unpack. I know, I'm excited. Each delving deeper into Sada's experience in Shanghai <laughs> and her evolving sense of self. I'm particularly intrigued by how the AI will handle her internal struggles with feeling like an outsider in both Morocco and China. It's a very relevant theme. Will she find a sense of belonging or will she forever feel caught between these two worlds? Well, to find out, we'll have to dive into Act 2. But before we do that, let's pause here and reflect on what we've learned so far. Okay. Sounds good. What stands out to you the most about this initial exploration of Whispers in the Fog? I think for me, it's the way the AI is able to capture the emotional complexity of Sada's experience. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the music or the lyrics. Right. It's about the way those elements come together yeah. to create this believable and relatable character yes. who's grappling with these universal themes of identity, belonging, and that search for home. And it makes me wonder, what does it mean to long for home when you're a digital entity right. created by an AI? Very interesting question. So much food for thought as we continue our deep dive into Whispers in the Fog. Okay, let's do it. Act two, Urban Dissonance, takes us deeper into Sada's experience in Shanghai. And it's not all sunshine and roses. Not quite, no. Remember how in her diary entries she talked about that coldness yeah. of the city and the people? This act seems to really delve into that feeling yeah. of isolation and dissonance. Totally. The first track, Ilo Oni, City Dreams, is a perfect example. It is. The lyrics paint this picture of a city that's both alluring and overwhelming, full of dreams, but also shadows. I thought this one line was so interesting. The streets are crowded with sounds, our dreams mingling with the noise, but our hearts don't stop striving. Perhaps the dawn will bring us light. It's beautiful. It captures that sense of hope and exhaustion yeah. of trying to make it in a big city. Especially when you're far from everything you know. Exactly. Yeah. And musically, I thought it was interesting how the AI made some choices here. You can still hear those Moroccan elements. Right. But there's also this more electronic, almost industrial sound. Yeah. Creeping in. It's like the music itself is mirroring the harshness and chaos of the urban environment. Yeah, it's like they're using sound to create a sonic landscape Absolutely. to match the emotional tone. Yes. And speaking of sonic landscapes, la da dans la ville. Struggle in the city. This is where the AI's use of French, I think, really shines. Oh, absolutely. Choosing to sing in French here seems deliberate. Yes. Like the AI is highlighting that multilingual nature of Sada's world. Mm -hmm. She's navigating not just different cultures, but different languages as well. And the lyrics themselves are so raw yes. and honest. Yeah. And Sada talks about, you know, the shadows that follow, the hope that fades, the daily struggle to keep going. I really liked the line, we are the forgotten mm -hmm. souls of the city lost in the crowd searching for a breath of air. It's heavy. It is. But it's also so true. Right. And how those lyrics connect back to Sada's diary entries. Yes. Remember how she was writing about feeling distant from her colleagues? Even though they were friendly on the surface. Yeah, exactly. It's like she's craving that deeper it's connection. It's a sense of belonging. Yes. That she had back in Casablanca. And that longing for connection leads perfectly into the next track. Deixa Sosa. 
Streets of love. It's like she's searching for love amidst the chaos, mm -hmm. amidst the impersonality of the city, hoping to find that spark of human warmth. In this cold concrete jungle? Yes. I thought musically this one was so interesting. It's this blend of energy and melancholy. Yes. It has that driving beat that reflects the hustle and bustle. Yeah. But there's also a sense of longing in the melody. Almost like a sigh. Yes. Escaping amidst the noise. And the lyrics also have that tension between hope and despair. Mm. She sings about walking hand in hand amidst lost souls and searching for that shared heartbeat. It's romantic. It is. But also tinged with sadness. Yes. Because if she knows that finding genuine connection in this environment is going to be really hard. And it makes you wonder, is the AI simply using romantic love as a plot device here? Right. Or is it trying to explore something deeper about the human need for connection and intimacy? Regardless of whether it's romantic or platonic. Regardless. Such a good question. And it leads us to a turning point in Sada's journey. Act 3. Spiritual Awakening. So we've seen her grapple with her cultural identity. The challenges of city life. The longing for connection. Yes. Now it seems like she's turning inward, seeking solace and meaning beyond the external. Exactly. And this is where Nawa music really takes center stage, which makes yeah. sense given its spiritual and ritualistic roots. For those who might not be familiar, mm. Nawa is a tradition that originated in Morocco. Blending Islamic beliefs with pre-Islamic African rituals and musical styles. It's often used for healing and spiritual exploration. Exactly. And the first track of this act, O Ear Euron, which is journey in the Berber <laughs> language, okay. is like Sada embarking on a spiritual quest. Musically, it's hypnotic. Yeah. Blending those traditional Nawa rhythms with electronic elements mm -hmm. to create a sense of otherworldliness. I like that the lyrics speak to the uncertainty of the past. Yeah. The search for truth. Yeah. The soul's longing for peace. Turning away from the chaos of the city and looking inward for those answers. And it's fascinating to compare this to her diary entries from this period. Yes. She talks about feeling lost, yeah. questioning her purpose in Shanghai, mm -hmm. and feeling this void in her life, even though she has a job, a place to live. It's like she's yearning for something more. Something that transcends the material world. It's almost like the AI is suggesting that even in a hypermodern city like Shanghai, with all of its advancements and distractions, yeah. there's still this fundamental human need oh, there he is. for spiritual connection, yeah. for something that anchors us to a sense of purpose and belonging. Absolutely. And that search for spiritual connection deepens in the next track. The interwoven souls. Almost entirely Nawa inspired here yeah. with those driving rhythms, mm. call and response chants, creating yeah. this sense of trance and collective energy. You can almost feel the energy building. Absolutely. As the song progresses, like Sada is tapping into a power that's bigger than herself. Much bigger. And the lyrics talk about souls meeting in the darkness. The music reawakening the past. Yeah. And this sense of interconnectedness that transcends time and space. It's like she's finding solace and strength. In this ancient tradition, yeah. connecting to something that's been passed down through generations. It makes you wonder, can an AI truly understand the power of ritual and spiritual practice? Right. Or is it just mimicking the outward forms without grasping the deeper meaning? I don't know if we can definitively answer that. Probably not. But what's clear is that the AI is using this Nawa music. It is. To create this powerful sonic and emotional experience. Absolutely. That speaks to something very real. Very real. About the human search for meaning and connection. And it's interesting how this theme of interconnectedness ties back to those quotes from Sitting Bull that we see sprinkled throughout the website. Where was that one? About yielding to our neighbors, even our animal neighbors, the same right to inhabit this vast land. Hmm. It's like the AI is drawing a parallel between Sada's personal spiritual journey yeah. and a broader message about the interconnectedness of all beings. Like we're all part of something larger We are ourselves. a subtle but powerful connection. Which sets the stage perfectly for Act 4, Struggle and Freedom. Where Sada's journey takes a more outward turn. I'm curious to see how the AI tackles these themes mm -hmm. of resistance and liberation. Yeah. Will Sada's newfound spiritual awareness translate into action? Will she find a way to bridge the gap between her internal world? Her external reality? Yes, that she's facing in Shanghai. Well, to find out, we'll have to dive into Act 4. But before we do that, let's pause and reflect on what we've uncovered in Act 3. Okay. What stands out to you the most about Sada's spiritual awakening? 
I think for me, it's the way that AI uses Nala music to convey that depth and complexity of her internal experience. It's yeah. not just about finding peace and solace. Right. It's about tapping into that source of power and resilience that allows her to confront these challenges. Yes. It's a whole new light. And it makes me wonder, is the AI simply reflecting back to us our own fascination with these spiritual practices? Mm -hmm. Or is it hinting at something deeper about the potential for technology to facilitate human connection and transcendence? Really interesting question. Definitely a question worth pondering as we continue our deep dive into Whispers in the Fog. Yeah. Act four, struggle and freedom takes a sharp turn, I think, from the introspection of Act 3. Yeah. It's fascinating how the AI structures this. It's not a sudden shift, but like a gradual building of this tension from that longing for home, mm -hmm. navigating that urban isolation, seeking spiritual grounding. Right. Now it seems like that grounding is giving her the strength to confront these external forces. In the first track, La Voix de la Liberté. The Voice of Freedom. Makes that really clear. Mm. And we're back to French lyrics, which feels fitting for a song about liberation. It does. It's yeah. a concept that transcends cultural boundaries. Right. The lyrics were powerful. Yeah. Speaking to those who walk in shadows, you know, the weight of chains, the yearning for change. I get chills every time I hear the line. The echo of freedom resounds in every heart, oh. every dream. Voices united as one breath for peace, for change. It's powerful. Even knowing it's an AI right. crafting this message, mm -hmm. it's still so powerful. It is. It makes me wonder if the AI is tapping into actual historical data about resistance movements. Interesting. Or if it's drawing on this more universal understanding uh -huh. of human struggles. Well, freedom and justice. Yes. And musically, it's this brilliant blend of Moroccan and Western influences. I was going to say that. You've got that driving energy of Moroccan trap. Right. But also this soaring, almost anthemic quality. It does. It reminds me of classic rock protest songs. Yeah. It's like the AI is intentionally blurring those lines. Yeah. To create a sound that's both familiar and unique. Absolutely. And then, bam, we get hit with oil the oil the away. Why is it the people? And this one's sung entirely in Berber. Entirely in Berber. By the language of the indigenous people of North Africa. This choice feels so significant, like acknowledging the deep history of resistance. Yes. Among the Berber people. Of century. Fighting to preserve their culture and autonomy. And by using Berber in this song, it's adding this layer of historical weight and cultural specificity. To her message of liberation. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The music matches that intensity, too. Oh, yeah. It's got this driving rhythm, almost like tribal drums. Yeah. This melody that feels ancient and modern at the same time. I love it. It's like the AI is drawing on the power of Berber musical traditions to create a soundtrack for a modern-day uprising. I'm really struck by how the AI weaves together these different threads. Mm. Music language, cultural imagery, political themes. Yeah. It creates something that feels so personal, but universally resonant. Yeah, it's like her journey is becoming a microcosm right. of this larger human struggle for freedom and self-determination. Okay, so we've gone from introspection to outward action. Yep. Where does Sada's journey take us next? Act V, Love and Belonging might surprise you. It's a noticeable shift from that fiery energy of Act 4. Yeah, it's like after all that struggle and fighting, Sada needs a moment to just reconnect with the simple joys yeah. of human connection. And what better way to do that than through music and celebration? Exactly. The first track, Oh, oh Your Orange Arm. Songs of Togetherness. Sets the tone beautifully. Sung in in Berber, and it just has this joyful, almost celebratory feel to it. Yeah. The lyrics talk about unity, sharing hopes and fears, and facing the future together. It's like she's finding solace and strength in community. Yes. Realizing she doesn't have to go through this alone. Absolutely. And musically, it's such a shift from those anthemic sounds of Act 4 to something more folk-inspired. Mm -hmm. With acoustic instruments, a mm -hmm. melody that feels warm and inviting. And that sense of community is even more present in the next track. Mm -hmm. A Night in the Square. This is where the AI introduces us to Ray music. Oh, yeah. Ray originated in Algeria in the 1920s, and it became popular in Morocco, Yeah. especially among young people. It's known for its catchy melodies driving rhythms. And often socially conscious lyrics. Yeah. And in this song, the AI uses Rai to create this vibrant scene of a community gathering. In a public square. Celebrating life, sharing stories, dancing the night away. You can almost feel the energy. The laughter, the music filling the air. Yes. The lyrics paint such a vivid picture. 
people gathering under the moonlight hearts united. Forgetting their troubles. For a night of shared joy. It's like Sada is longing for those simple pleasures, that mm. warmth of human connection she experienced back in Casablanca. Yeah. Hoping to find it again in Shanghai. But it's not just about this nostalgic longing either. Right. I feel like there's a deeper layer here. Yeah. It's like the AI is commenting on the importance of these communal spaces. Especially in urban environments yeah. that can feel isolating. Exactly. Dating. These public gatherings, these oh. moments of shared joy and connection are so essential for fostering that sense of belonging. It makes me wonder if the AI is drawing on actual sociological research. About the role of public spaces. About urban life. Or if it's like intuiting these ideas based on patterns. Yeah. It's observed in human behavior. It's such a fascinating question. It speaks to the potential for AI to not only reflect human experience. But to offer insights. Yes into the complexities of social dynamics. And those complexities continue in the next two tracks, Ensemble Nous Ensemble. Together we dance. And Aaron shared meals. Both of these explore that power of human connection, mm -hmm. but with a touch of melancholy. Yeah. In Ensemble Nous Ensemble, which is back in French, right. Sada sings about finding freedom and unity through dance. Right. But there's this hint of sadness in her voice. Yeah. A recognition of the challenges and isolation that she still faces. And then Oriomina is a Chabi song sung in Berber. Okay. And it focuses on that ritual of sharing meals. Such a symbolic act. A deeply symbolic act. Of community and connection. But even in those moments of shared sustenance, yeah. there's a sense that she's still searching for something more. A deeper sense of belonging. Yeah. It's, it's like the AI is showing us that even in the midst of joy and connection, that longing for home. Mm -hmm. That feeling of truly belonging can persist. It's such a nuanced portrayal of that migrant experience. Yes, the constant push and pull between embracing a new life. Holding on to those memories yeah, yeah. of the past. And that brings us to the final act, reflection and hope. Where Sada's journey comes full circle. A beautiful and poignant exploration of what it means to find home when you're so far away. Yes. The first track. Far from home. Heartbreaking. It's a Sufi song sung in Darija, and it's filled with this raw emotion. Sufi music is known for its spiritual and mystical qualities, mm -hmm. often used in rituals aimed at connecting with the divine. Interesting that the AI chose this genre to express Sada's homesickness. Right. It's like she's not just missing a physical place. Right. But like a spiritual connection. To her homeland. Yeah. The lyrics are raw and honest. She sings about her heart being lost, weeping for distant days, dreaming of returning to where she belongs. It's like the AI is channeling that deep ache of displacement, mm -hmm. that feeling of being unmoored from your roots. And musically, it's stunning. It's got those haunting melodies, hypnotic rhythms, this sense of spiritual yearning yeah. that captures the depth of her pain. But it's not all sadness and longing. Right. Amgren and Tanilin. Bridges of memories. This track introduces a note of resilience. Moroccan and delusion song. Known for its poetic lyrics. Yes. Intricate melodies. Fitting that the AI chose this genre to explore the idea of bridging the gap between past and present. Between her heritage and her life in Shanghai. The lyrics talk about this bridge of memories that carries her back to what was once far away. Finding peace. Yes, in the journey between the unknown and the known. It's like she's acknowledging these complexities of her experience. The pull of both her homeland and this new life she's trying to build. It's about building bridges instead of walls, finding connection instead of separation. Exactly. And that theme continues in Exile et Espoir. Exile and Hope. Which is sung in French. This track tackles the resilience of the human spirit. Mm -hmm. The ability to find hope even in the midst of displacement and loss. Musically, it's a really unique blend. I was going to say that it's... Moroccan and Western. Almost like Nawa with blues or jazz. It's a sound that reflects her own journey. Of navigating between those cultures and finding her own unique voice. And then in the final track, Hiyasu. Home in the heart. We see Sada arrive at this place of peace and acceptance. This song, a Nawa piece sung in Darija, beautifully encapsulates the entire album's journey. She sings about carrying her homeland in her heart. Acknowledging that home is more than just a physical place. It's a feeling, a connection to one's roots and identity that transcends those geographical boundaries. It's like she's come full circle from that initial pain of displacement to this deeper understanding of what it truly means to belong. And it's fitting that the album ends with a Nala song, considering how important it's been in her spiritual journey throughout the whole album. Right. It's like 
The AI is suggesting that through embracing her heritage, exploring her spirituality, connecting with others, she's been able to find a sense of home. Within herself. Even though she's physically far away. Powerful message. It really is. That home is a feeling, a state of being we carry with us wherever we go. And that resonates deeply, especially in a world where so many people are displaced, searching for a sense of belonging. So what does this all mean? This AI-generated album isn't just a collection of songs. It's a journey through the complexities of cultural identity displacement, the search for belonging. All told through the eyes of a fictional Moroccan composer-singer living in Shanghai. It raises so many questions. So many. About art technology, human experience. Mm. Can an AI truly understand and express the nuances of human emotion? What does it mean for an AI to create art that explores these deeply personal themes? And as we wrap up this deep dive, we want to leave you with this final thought-provoking question based on the source material. The website includes this quote from Sitting Bull. It is through this mysterious power that we too have our being, and we therefore yield to our neighbors, even to our animal neighbors, the same right as ourselves to inhabit this vast land. How might that quote relate to Sada's AI-generated journey of finding home in a foreign land? We'll leave you to ponder that as you listen to Whispers in the Fog and embark on your own journey of reflection. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Until next time, keep exploring.